Okay. So, uh, what we're going to do now is something more prototypes, but this time it's Super Nintendo prototypes. So we're going to do, um, I have to make a logo, so this will do for now. Uh, it's a very quick logo, but it'll work. So we're going to do some Super Nintendo prototypes, some games that maybe weren't, um, I don't know why these games exist. I don't even know who sent this pack, but Nary sent me like a little file so that we can take a look at all these games and I can explain the history of them to you. So, for example, Batman, unreleased remake of Batman Return of the Joker for the NES. But then there's a, a file here called Real Shitty Batman. and says this is actually the internal name of the ROM file. So we're going to start with Real Shitty Batman. I don't know why this game sucks. I kind of I kind of want to know. Does it even have controls? It does have controls. In a moment, I can actually even play the game for you. All right, here we go. Somewhere in Gotham City, oh boy. Oh my God, that is a chunky looking Batman. No sound? Who the fuck... Who the fuck did this art? This is like Liefeld. Oh no. Oh, this is real bad. Warning, no shimming. Vinny, please go widescreen. <laughs> Why? What, you just want to see Batman get thicker? Is that what it is? All right. Fine. Wow. There, listen, chat, there's no music. There's no sound effects. So I'm going to give you um, Batman music MIDI. Perfect. Look at that. <laughs> Gotham must be cleaned up. I'm fighting Alfred, Batman's butler. <laughs> what? Wow. This is some next level fucking garbage. Again, it's a prototype, so... But, oh my god, is it funny to look at. Alright, that was good. That was good. Let me see what... Actual Batman is. Now, better prototypes. So, let's see. Maybe this is a better version of this Batman. I don't know. Batman the Joker and all related character logos and whatever. Sunsofts. I don't know why that's funny to me. Batman just has a funny face in there. I whooped Batman's ass. I whooped. This is my favorite Batman device. When he shoots blue goo from his wrist. Dude works out trains just to shoot goo. 
That wasn't Batman's voice, right? <laughs> There's like no other buttons in this game. It's pretty much just this. A weapon B? Vinny, this is a remake of the first Batman game on the NES, just more shitty. Right, 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 right. Weapon C. Okay, well now something different is happening. Oh. Bat gun. Oh! Yeah, I didn't play the original NES Batman. I know what it is. I think... I remember seeing video footage of th that game, that video game. But... Yeah, I didn't actually, um, I didn't actually have it or play it. I wasn't even a Batman fan. I, st I still kind of... Amped? Amped? Like, I kind of like Batman on some level, because I like the movies. I've read some of the comics. And I appreciate Batman. But... When I was younger, and, and uh, uh, you know, I love the Michael Keaton movies, but here's the thing. I remember watching the Cesar Romero Joker, Adam West Batman. I thought it was too silly even for me. Which, I mean, really? No, it's nothing's ever too silly for me. Come on. Oh, that sucks. Mm, the Joker, baby! So I didn't um, end up liking Batman until much later on. So, what are we doing now? What do we want to do now? I've got plenty of prototypes. Bobby's World? I think I might have played this one. It says an unreleased game based on the cartoon. Now, I, I played... Also, Nari, thank you so much for typing this stuff up. Really appreciate it. So, Bobby's World is... I think I might have played this at some point. I don't know. Howie Mandel made it. Whatever. It's Bobby. I watched the show. I watched this, but not Batman. Gee golly, your room is a mess, Bobby. Bobby, you're growing mold. Your room is so fucking disgusting that it turned into an alien planet. This is made by the same people that made the Steven Seagal game. I don't know if I believe that. I mean, this is way better than the Steven Seagal game. It also is not nearly as ambitious. It's vicious, but not ambitious. Am I having fun? No, it kind of... It kind of sucks a little bit. I mean, it's again, it's a prototype. But the problem is, um... The problem is the camera whips around like crazy, and Bobby is very slow. Bobby does not move quickly. Is that a finger? Oh, I thought that was a Vienna sausage pack. Um, but yeah, Bobby's very slow. The, the projectile is terrible. Visuals are alright. I mean, it definitely fits the theme of the Bobby's World show. Does it, if anyone didn't know what Bobby's World was, I watched it a little bit. Um, wasn't one of my favorite shows, but it was something I would watch every now and then. Bobby was a kid. And... What? So Bobby was a child. It was Howie Mandel doing silly voices. I don't remember anything else about the show. Was it like Rugrats, where he had, like, imagination adventures? Why are people chat saying he died? He didn't die. Caillou died. Drug rats? Vinny, Bobby got hit by a car. Bobby was a voice from Mandel's stand-up. Is it weird that I didn't even know that Howie Mandel had a career? I thought he was famous for being famous. I thought the dude was just some dude on American Idol, and nothing else. Ow. 
and like he wears gloves to shake people's hands. I didn't know that there was more to it than that. Um, Congo, the movie. DKC ripoff canceled early on because playtesters didn't like it and the movie flopped. A Usenet post from 95 from a playtester play said, Worst game I've ever played. The whole testing department complained so much that the big guys finally listened and canceled it. So Congo, the secret of Zinge. Um, satellite delivers a disturbing transmission from deep within the heart of Africa. Why is this familiar? Did AVGN cover this? Who covered this? Classics of game? What were they thinking? Not AVGN. Okay, because I just had some serious Howie Mandel effect just now. So why am I killing all these transmission What? This cheap motherfucking... <laughs> Travacom headquarters dispatches a second team to search for the missing expedition. Flawless Diamonds, the lost city of Zinj. Nice JPEG. Team is forced to parachute to the African jungle below. Long journey towards Zinj begins on the Congo River. Oh no. I- I swear I've seen this or I've played this. Oh god. Oh, fuck. I- I might have streamed this in like 2011. The water texture is- is like kind of making my face hurt. My brain doesn't know how to fucking process it and instead it's just giving me like, mixed and confused signals, and- and it's kind of, like, making it difficult to focus on the game? Like, I'm so focused on that water effect that I don't even know what's happening. I guess they tried to go, like, more visual... ...as opposed to, um, actually making a, a good game, which is a lot of movie tie-ins. But, um, in this case, yeah, it absolutely is- is just not worth- I don't know if- if this game is a shooter, or a- a river ride simulator, or what? It's using the pre-rendered graphics, though, I'll give it that. That was a checkpoint. God. You can crash into so many things with no consequence, but as soon as you hit a twig, you go flying off your fucking raft. You can't even... touch... the wood. You can't respect the wood, you can't touch the wood. So I can see why they, um, the playtesters complained, because this was something that... if I had to playtest this game for eight hours a day, as like a job... I probably also would get very angry and emotionally distressed and sick to my fucking stomach, because that's- that's what this thing is doing to me right now. Oh my god, like, my eyes are kind of, like, hurting me. I- 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 I really don't want to play this game anymore, and I don't mean that just to be funny, but I can't even look at the game. Corn Buster. Breakout Arkanoid clone, but with story and weird lizard people. Probably be a good time to bust out my, uh... ...graphic design image from college. And we've reached peak Sunday. Need I say anything more? I'm making note of everyone attracted to this alligator thing. I swear to God, if you ruin the Buru, 
An extra live. Really confusing menus. Whoa. <laughs> Lizard hands! Into space. Star Trek into space. What does this have to do with alligators? Holy shit. I don't know what the game is trying to be but it's confusing and it and it it's distressing me greatly like i it's not terrible but i don't understand it and i can't oh i have to advance with the ball you can only shoot a little bit you can't shoot a lot Where is the corn? Oh right, I forgot this game is called Corn Buster and not Alligator Space Arkanoid. Does this look fun to anyone? This is some lame shit. Again, the idea of the game is cool. I think the execution leaves a little bit to be desired, but with some further R&D, you know, some testing, some feedback, maybe this could have been a cool game. I don't understand why there's alligators. <laughs> I don't get it! They just wanted to put alligator boobs on screen, didn't they? <laughs> this level just uh, never ends, does it? Crockbertsons? No, this is far from the worst game I will be playing tonight. And again, you know, it's it's easy to make fun of these games because they were either cancelled or they're prototypes. But you can see where... I'm just gonna tell you if they're good or bad from playing them, of course, but you can see where they're like... There might be potential. Where this could have been something interesting. I feel like every game tonight had some level of potential, except Bobby's World. That was just terrible. No, you know what? No, no, no. Bobby's World wasn't so bad. Congo was the real terrible one. It's like almost Pachelbel's canon. Yeah, I've, I've had quite enough. Let's go back into early prototypes, like Fireteam Rogue. Fireteam Rogue, it says here, super early build of the game, side-scrolling shooter with mode 7 stages, over-ambitious game. Seventy billion years ago. It is the fifth day of the surprise invasion of Amontun. 
monstrous hordes of Umbra, unknown to the Alliance, the dark palace of Gangorthrag, the evil weapon of incomparable power, was resurrected after long millennia. On the frontier, sunward of Emon Eda. Is this Lord of the fucking Rings? The warlord Daemus speeds to deliver the stolen weapon. The fate of the spiral bomb rests with a lone band of adventurers in desperate race against time. Amon Hen is where, um, you know, the fight at the end of uh, Fellowship of the Ring happened. Amon Huel, Hume, Amon something. Uh, do you want me to be, okay, so I can be Mirror Batman. I can be Cats with mustache. I can be Rob Liefeld attempt at warrior princess or i could be um lizard moose oh wait that's not a horn what the fuck is oh that's that's where they they hail from i don't know um it's, yeah <laughs> what? Message from FLIP! That is a power blaster, Talis. It releases a burst of energy which can hurt your enemies or you. Is this not a gun? Oh. Rem Lizard. Oh, that's good. Like the, the, the visuals look deep fried, like pre deep fried. Like they're just done for you. It's like they designed the, the graphics, they made the, the sprites, and then they just said, turn them up. Turn them up, get the crust. Amplify the crust, please. We need a noise filter, please. Thank you. Map screen. Oh. It's, it's worth noting that I have no idea what's happening. And I don't know how to... Progress. You can jump between planes. It was a nice try. Iron Commando is next. Brawler, Final Fight clone, same devs as Nightmare Busters. Which I, I don't think we've seen yet. Iron Commando. The peril came from outer space. The meteorite entered the Earth's atmosphere, bringing chaos. After observations, the scientists found that meteorite was radioactive and had to be destroyed. Nice face. Unfortunately, terrorists from ghosts want the meteorite too. The Iron Commando's mission is to retrieve the deadly body in a void. Wait, deadly body? Choose your warrior. Um.
They, they almost look good. Yeah, slide. Wow. Well, this isn't so bad. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. And they survived that! Why are people saying, cut my life into pieces? Does this sound like that? Oh, I see, I see, I see. Well, cut my life into pieces stole from this then. Somehow, Papa Roach got the, um, the prototype for this game. And they, they borrowed the music. That is a Papa Roach song, right? Who, who did the cut my life into pieces? Oh, cool. Poppycock. What was that other cool band? Chat. Hoobastank. I like that song that they do. I just brought a fly. Arms against me, baby. Put your thighs against my face, baby. I just brought a fly. Arms against me, baby. Arms against me, baby. That's Hoobastank? Metal Jack, also from the early prototype. Armored Police, unreleased localization by Atlas. Huh. Released in Japan, but never localized. The year 2015 AD. Crime in Los Angeles has grown rampant and vile. <laughs> The crime group causing this chaos lurks in every shadow. They are known as... Crass. It's almost the Klingon sigil. Three young victims of Crass emerged as... No. Oh. Metal Jack. This is very anime, isn't it? Wait a minute. This dude's got a car. This dude's got a car. This dude's got a jet? They're probably all jets. You get lightsaber access. It's got a very small range. These hitboxes are a little rough. Also, you can't, like, move for up to, like, half a second after you punch or kick or use the sword. It's kind of awful. Oh, 2015 is definitely the future. Chat's still stuck on the 2015 thing. We still have White Castle in 2015, so... The thing about it is, like, it seemed like a long way off. You know, like, 20XX. Or 2019 for Blade Runner. You knew I was gonna say that, but... It just seemed like a long way off. It seemed like a future number without it being so far in the future that was un... You know, undoable.
So if anyone lives in LA, was this what your 2015 was like? You had to fight off robot hordes? Hordes, not whores. That's 2025. Frank, did you just... Did you just bang a robot whore? Yeah, of course I did. Of course I did. Frank, you're like 80. I don't like this game. I don't like this game. Um, let's take a look at... Hindstrike. So this is back to the just prototypes. Better prototypes. So Hindstrike. What is it? It's not a prototype. It's homebrew. Okay, never mind then. Yeah. It's kind of a cool intro. I mean, it looks like the helicopter is getting closer. Oh, now it is. And now I'm blind. Thanks. The year 2015. Okay. Good morning, Lieutenant. Welcome to the... 205th. Uh, we will be operating just south of Herat from Forward Airstrip. First mission is to familiarize yourself with the area. Even an orientation flight can be eventful. If you encounter resistance, engage with caution. Oh. Whoa, this is cool. Putting that Mode 7 to good use. <laughs> it sounds like I'm throwing pebbles onto a tin roof. There's a way to descend. Uh, it's it's pretty good. I mean, it looks great for a Super Nintendo game. This is doable on Super Nintendo hardware, but still, I mean, it is homebrew. Oh, you can resupply and then go back out. Aren't these just civilian homes? I mean, the tech is cool, but I don't- I don't know if I'd... If I'd, like, played this as a kid, I probably would have liked it, because it would have been so impressive that I wouldn't have wanted to stop playing it. But, um... Yeah. Eh. There was a game I really liked called Arrow Fighters Assault on the N64. That I, I liked. But it wasn't even that good. I just liked it.
And there was another helicopter game on the N64. I think it was like Chopper Attack or something. It wasn't... Also wasn't that good, but kind of cool. Um, this one's called Lobo. It's a game based on Lobo from DC Comics. Nintendo Power gave it a bad review. EGM gave it a bad review. Neither the SNES nor Genesis version got released, but both got dumped. Yeah, I just wanna fly. Arms around me, baby. Arms around me, baby. Arms around me, baby. Oh, God. Oh, God. What's wrong with your face? Chad, that kind of looks like a blow-up doll. I'm talking about Lobo. Oof. This is like Killer Instinct. But... Let's say Killer Instinct wasn't finished. I mean, this was apparently finished. But yeah, this plays like a Killer Instinct prototype. Killer... <laughs> killer stink. Killer bitch stink, said someone in chat. Thank you, that's good. See this cut. Wow. Wow. Lobo mounts his trusty steed. I like how health is just cumulative. You do not restore health after a fight. Worst gun ever. Zero, but it's still going. I guess I lost. <laughs> Global Gladiators Mick and Mac. It says here, an unfinished NES port, semi well known McDonald's Genesis game. Excuse me, McDonald's? Whoa, 3D. Great. What does this have to do with McDonald's? I'm using a super soaker to squirt some kind of goop. Maybe it's supposed to be, like, ketchup? But why is it orange? 
Nacho cheese? It, it's just like, yeah, it's just like cheese. It's McDonald's and Virgin Interactive are just putting their greasy fingers all over this game. Vinny, you're shooting meat grease. I apparently missed uh, an intro. It's like some kind of McDonald's explanation. Oh, I see no intro here. Look at... Look at the face. <laughs> Mickey's Playtime Adventure unreleased game. Weird point and click with very good animation. Okay. I wonder if Defunct Land would ever cover this. Playtown Adventure, A Day of Discovery. Okay. Some farty middies, though. Some real farty middies. supposed to come out son of a bitch oh my lawyers will be in touch how old are you <laughs> let's see well that's correct actually that is correct the three and the four i don't think i'm the target audience of this game chat I i've just reached a very sad Realization. That's right. I'm a big boy. Oh, oh boy! What a beautiful day! You'd better get- I'd better get dressed so I don't miss a bit of it! Oh! Oh, no, I'm naked. Real quick. Oh, 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 oh. Gosh, I guess I should hang up my clothes! All my clothes move on their own! What the fuck is this? I mean, now I get it, but Mickey's clothes are sentient, and they can move, and they can make their way back to their home. That's the most exciting lore. Someone said, stop giving him shit, chat. It's 8 plus, the highest difficulty. <laughs> From that, uh, that YouTuber I killed a couple weeks ago for stealing Disney content. Oh. Mm. Mm. Oh, now where's Pluto? Oh, I bet he's hungry. Oh, Pluto! Here, boy. I'd like to think if you hung out with Mickey in real life, you would probably en end up hearing, like, if he was just quiet, like... I don't think Mickey could be quiet for more than... 
five and a half seconds. My acorns are son of a bitch. Ah. I own this world. Hey, Sora, you got a keyblade? Take me! Oh. Oh. Is that Bubsy? And the tree? <laughs> On the left! Oh. Up in the clouds now! <laughs> the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> Disneyland, the place where dreams go to die! Creatively bankrupt endeavors of popular franchises. Oh, hey, kitty. Want to make a movie? Oh. Cats. Notice I can't just enjoy nice things, like I can't just enjoy Mickey Mouse for being an iconic cartoon character. I have so much pent-up anger for Disney since I was a kid. This is nothing new. It's just extra spicy now. Oh. Let it all out. Okay. Hey, kitty cat, you want to start a monopoly? Oh. Gosh, Mickey, I don't know. I'd like to cast a spell. G g oh, fuck. Gosh, Mickey, I've got ghosts in my attic and they're wrecking the place. Could you help me? Hmm. For Goofy. Oh. I guess that means they're acquiring Ghostbusters. I, anyway, I don't know, um, I don't know if this game, apparently, it's unreleased. It's, it's actually probably one of the most interesting games I've played today, even though it is just kind of a weird point and click. You can't really lose. Wow. One. Two. It, it, this is Luigi's Mansion. before Luigi's Mansion. Three, four, five. That's got a vacuum and everything. Six, seven, oh. eight. Hey. <laughs> Alright, those are the ghosts of all the companies that we bankrupt. Mr. Tough is next. Unreleased game. Okay, uh, Castle Factory Flats that looks pretty good.
man. Fucking... This was like a... Okay, granted this didn't come out, but think about how fucking weird AAA games were back in the 90s. Just throwing whatever the fuck at the wall and seeing if it stuck. I mean, there's still some wacky stuff, but, you know... A lot of this kind of stuff is relegated to indies, which is great. You still get your interesting, weird little side scroll. A fish? Real I'm Mr. Tough, and a little baby fish damaged me. Let's scream. Alright, um, that's cool, I guess. Let's go back to the early prototypes folder for Network Q Rally. First person racing game for the Super Nintendo. Wow. It nearly released and it even had an ESRB rating. And that's just a picture. <laughs> and then there's just a random dude on the side of the road. It's like, not a group of spectators, just one random person. I, I guess that's me going up and down hills? Listen, they tried their best. This is almost kinda cool. The rabbit lost mascot. <laughs> so Quick the Rabbit is one of Sonic the Hedgehog's pals, right? I I really um I don't know what it is. Chat is noticing this too. Chat is also typing some stuff in that leads me to believe that many of us are on the same page. Anyone else think that this is like kind of fucking repulsive and scary looking for a, a cutesy mascot? That carrot's face could be a meme of some kind. Shouldn't be, not, you know, but it could be. And yeah, no audio. You know what we can do? We can play some audio. I got some audio.
play some Hoobastank for you. All around the world, statues crumble for me. Who knows how long I've loved you? I've loved you. Everywhere I go, people stop and they see. 25 years old, my mother rest her soul. I just want to fly. Arms around the baby, put your arms around me, baby. I just want to fly. Ugh. Arms around me, baby. Arms around me, yeah. I just... Oh. Uh. Rayman. Why is Rayman on here? Hang on a minute. This doesn't seem right. Whoa! Oh, this was in a corruption stream at some point. Yeah, this is like an early fucking weird prototype Rayman. Sugar Ray Man? Oh, this is Hoobastank Man. I can imagine someone just clicking. Oh, cool. Super Nintendo prototypes. I don't know who this Vine Sauce guy is. Does he do the science channel? Oh, whatever. I like Super Nintendo prototypes. Seems like an interesting topic. Oh, this is pretty educational. And then... Ah, I'll just brown a fly. It's like, oh, God, no. Shadowhawk, another comic book game. Nobody wanted to publish it. It's not a good sign. A unique feature is pressing select on the title screen, allowing controller rebinding. Yeah, that's so. Okay. That's, that's definitely for Super Nintendo. That's cool. Why is it only in the... Why is it only in the left ear? Does anyone want to publish this game? Chat, it wouldn't take much. Just publish it. Just do it. Just publish it. Come on. It's cheap. You can get the rights for 25 bucks. Oh, this is fucking... This is rough. What, what are this legs animation? <laughs> also, that was almost the Final Fantasy victory theme. If anyone wants to run with that, you've got the first couple of notes.
you're a superhero. Your name is Pepsi Man. And you can't do a goddamn thing right. In that sense, yeah, it's great, because by the end of the game, you can get a unique character arc. I mean, the, the grapple mechanic is interesting. It's the best part. This is fucking- it, it's as terrible to play as it looks, trust me. Why- why- I don't even want to know why there's like holes in the sidewalk like this and why they're so fucking painful to walk on. Steven Seagal is the final option. Excuse me? Oh, I played this one. Well, if you missed it the last time, you need to at least look at this for a moment. I guess whoever made this pack included this as well and didn't realize, or maybe I played it after they made the pack, whatever the case is. This game is, uh, I played this last time I did prototypes and this is true horseshit. Remember this music? Not Steven Seagal, by the way. Should be noted that this is a Sagala like. You've seen enough. The Shadow. New York, nineteen thirty three. city soon to be thrown into chaos. Shuan Khan, last descendant of the Bob... Never mind. Don't worry about it. Whatever. It's fine. A man with the ability to cloud the minds and judgment of everybody. So it's Palpatine. It's Palpatine's behind it all. Times Square? Isn't it Times Square? Another pretty... standard... stock standard beat-em-up. Except with a, a cooler style than some of the other ones. Yeah, it's, it's fine. Ganon? That? Or is that Canon? Did it say Ganon or Canon? This became, a, like, a, I guess a feature that a lot of developers emulated for a while there. Which was, a give all your beat-em-up opponents a name. It said Yannon. This is licensed from a Depression-era radio show? That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's- it's interesting. I mean, I like it a little bit. Socks the cat. Do you remember? Okay. This got an official release in 2018 after Kickstarter got the rights of the game and it got released. But it was cancelled up until then. Socks the cat is Bill Clinton's cat. Was Bill Clinton's cat. Which will probably explain a little bit. They made a game of the president's cat. 
portable nuclear missile launch stolen. Oh, I thought the cat stole it. Well, I mean, those are the two big headlines. It was the cat is cute and also the nukes have been stolen. This could literally be anything other than a game about Bill Clinton's cat. Oh, I see nine lives. Nine lives, I get it. Some- yeah, I agree that there are some very wretched and loathsome sounds in this game. Why do you want me to make a pussy joke, chat? Wait, what? Presidential trivia? It's, it's attempting to also be edutainmental. I don't like this. Why was there a Kickstarter for this? Like, who would want this game released? On some level, though, I, I do like seeing... Like, I, I really like these prototype streams I've been doing lately. They've been interesting and eye-opening and fun. And edutainmental. But, um, I, I kind of hate this right now. Oh, you can run. But imagine, like, spending money to get this game released finally, and then you get... You get this. Then you gotta look up the bosses in this game. I don't even... Spot goes to Hollywood, so Cool Spot was, um... You know... 7-Up mascot. There was already a Super Nintendo game with Spot. That was a side-scroller, I've streamed a little bit of it, it's fine. It says, SNES port of Cool Spot's sequel, incomplete broken port. How about incomplete broken game? This is kind of awful. I mean, it's not even that it's broken because it's an incomplete port. It's, um... It's just this- this perspective doesn't really work. Yeah, the isometric is very stiff and not very good, but it's also... Again, for a Super Nintendo game, you may as well just keep it side-scrolling. This mascot's no longer used, right? Like, n no one over at 7-Up is using Cool Spot. That was a product of its time. Isometric works for RTS strategy games, not for action. I agree. It also works for Mario RPG. So this is a game called, um, Targa, and it is unreleased localization of Rendering Ranger R2. The SFC original is one of the rarest SFC games. Get ready.
Yeah, Mario RPG platforming was a little rough. Yeah, I agree. It's a little hard to judge jumps and stuff. It worked well enough, considering it was light platforming. Now we get to shoot the year, Terminator. Your name, Terminator. Your mission, Terminator. Man, every... everyone had to have a giant gun. At this time, if you were an action hero, you had to have a massive fucking gun half the size of your body. No exceptions. So, well, James Bond, maybe, with the PP7. PPK, sorry. Wants to be your James Bond. That's it. From now on, the name James Bond will forever be associated with that song. Anyway, this is pretty good. It's like brainless Contra. Maybe it turns into something with a little bit more thinking. But at the moment, it's, um... I mean, I, you know, I died before, so it's not like... It's not the easiest game in the world, but... Okay. Tinhead. Unreleased SNES version of Tinhead, there was a released Genesis version, but the devs ran out of money. Someone said the game over screen was pretty good for, um... Targa. Stereos all around me. Big chunky, chunky graphics. Like it, it really does look like a Genesis game on the Super Nintendo. They've fucking managed the impossible. It's not the impossible, but no, it's it's fine. Kind of reminds me of Met from Mega Man, like, it's just like a Mega Man dude. Just like going around, throwing rocks at people. You've got different, um, attacks. Well, I shouldn't say different attacks, you can- you can shoot in different directions. And you can carry up to a certain number of balls, and then you take damage, and then you lose ball. So it's kind of cool. Figuring out which ball to use, and how, and when, it's, it's, it's alright. Sylvester and Tweety. There's two games left, both Looney Tune. This one is just unreleased alpha platformer of, um, a Looney Tunes. It's pretty good animation. We had Mickey Mouse, we've got Cool Spot, we've got- look at all this. I know them, I clapped. How do I actually play this? Oh, I don't. Looks like it. Yeah, I mean, this is really weird for a Super Nintendo game. Shows you the artwork. It's probably the first time I've seen this for a Super Nintendo prototype. Kind of cool, though. And then, um, finally, Wile E. Coyote's Revenge. Cancelled sequel to Roadrunner's Death Valley Rally, not much to it. <laughs> Thanks. That was <laughs> very good. Just slam their faces into my fucking screen, thank you for that. Just like them cartoons.
Guess there's no way around this. Can we just walk over into the sand? Nope, that would be tall order. Never mind. Couldn't this dude find, like, a different source of food? Get up here. You know, there's no way this game could end with Wily e. Coyote actually. Even though you're the protagonist, you're still the antagonist. And there's no way Wily e. Coyote would catch the Roadrunner at the end and then eat him. I mean, maybe it would be, it would be bold, stylistically. I think it would be kind of cool if um. If the, the Wily e. Coyote catches the Roadrunner, and then they just become friends. I think that that actually happened. Like, he catches him, and then he realizes, you know what? I shouldn't be eating my friend. Wily e. Coyote knows no one else. They don't have any, you know, outside friendship. That's all they have, just each other. And then he starves and dies. Okay, so that is, um, SNES Prot. I hope you enjoyed watching some of those. That was, um... Probably some of that stuff was was very uh, entertaining and, and informative. I feel like I've been furnished with lots of informations So that was pretty cool I'm sure we'll do another prototype stream at some point. I'm sure there's more that haven't even been released yet Because there's new prototypes hitting the market <laughs> hitting the internet all the time, so You never know